Now, uh, let's talk about North Melbourne's win, shall we? The second for the season, so Kangaroo supporters certainly up and about, and uh, it came at the expense of a very disappointing Gold Coast Sunside. North Melbourne, 9-18, I think. Was it 1-7 in the, in, in, the, um, in the third quarter alone? Joining us now is the skipper, Jack Zeeble. G'day, Jack. Hey guys, thanks for having me. No, well, thank you for coming on. Now, uh, first up, we had that breaking news just before about uh, you guys. So, Damo, I'm sure you want to ask Jack about yeah, that. Yeah, just being exposed to the, the Tier 2 exposure side at the airport yesterday uh, on your way to Hobart to play the Gold Coast Suns. You've been required as a club and a staff group to, to be tested and to isolate, uh, awaiting negative results. Um, yeah, what can you, you tell us with, with regard to that and what it means for the week ahead? Yeah, I suppose that obviously we were alerted to the situation at the Melbourne airport um, late last night. I think once the, the details were uncovered um, and I suppose it, it sort of is a bit like the way this year goes. Um, everything's unexpected and um, with the, the COVID situation, everything evolves very quickly. So we've been um, advised to, to get a test this morning, first thing, uh, and isolate at home until we get a, a negative result um, and then just await further details. But I think with the AFL travel protocols, it's uh, it's important to note that uh, it's pretty strict uh, when we travel in a state. Uh, we flew in and out on the same day yesterday. We we also had a chartered flight, um, and we're required to wear masks at all times um, throughout the airport as well as on the flight. So, um, fingers crossed, no doubt that uh, all of our test results come back negative, and um, the week can unfold as planned. Yeah, good luck with that, Jack. Uh, you have career best form at the moment, playing down back, but. Nervous moments last yesterday with so many inside 50s. They kicked five behinds and you really had to stand up late. It's always clean handed. Yeah, we did, and um, I think we learned a pretty valuable lesson a few weeks ago against GWS down in Hobart with a similar, similar situation. And, and they got over, uh, didn't get over the line, but they did enough to cause a draw. So um, it was important that we stood up late, and I think the boys did enough to get the job done, although we're under siege a little bit from a, from a brave girl coast. You were under siege late, but you did have more inside 50s, plus 16. I think it was plus 22 at one stage, apart from these inside 50s we're seeing late. So you had the run of the game for most of it. We did. It was um, really pleasing the way the boy executed the plan. Um, into, we went into the game and unfortunately we probably didn't kick as accurately as we would have liked. Uh, but we understand that's part of football and no doubt we'll go to work this week and try and fix that. But I think the more important thing for us was generating the shots and um, the boys have been outstanding over the last three weeks in doing so. And, and I think we've been a lot more competitive and um, uh, we're playing a, a a way better brand of footy at the moment that I think our fans uh, can identify as something exciting for the future. Just on that then, uh, Jack, have you found that uh, much has changed or you're just executing better? Because obviously the, the, the form over the last three or four weeks has been really, really strong. You got belted up by Essendon and obviously the dogs in previous weeks. Is it just obviously understanding what David knows a bit better and more experience in the players now? Yeah, I think all the above already, to be honest. Um, the first probably four to six weeks of the season, we were probably underdone and um, having a new coach come in a short and pre-season um, along with a few injuries and um, new coaching staff and, and new players it was a bit of a challenge to get that up and running at the start of the year but every week we've worked our butts off at training um, tried to implement the plans best we can each week in games and I think we've learned valuable lessons week in week out and um, we've come to a point now that the, the effort and the consistency and effort for us has um, been really good and really strong, um, which has enabled us to really you know, compete hard um, and implement some stuff that Nobes has been putting in place at training over the last few weeks. And uh, we can see that coming out positively in games. And, and I think we've probably uh, deserved to win the last few weeks the way we've played. And, and thankfully on the weekend, we got to share that as, as a group. Jack, Luke Davies, Uniac has been building all year, I think, and can be a future star of the game. Was, how have you seen his development? And was he one of those ones that was perhaps a little bit underdone early, but now is really getting that fitness to the required level? Absolutely. I mean, LDU, I think we can all see um, his skill level and his powerfulness around the contest. He's bloody hard to tackle. And, I mean, you watch him there. His, his side movement, lateral movement um, is, is second to none. Um, he finds space in, in the contest. And I think for him, more than anything, he's just growing in confidence, which young players um, in the modern game, you need that in spades. And sometimes it's a funny thing, confidence. It's hard to find. Um, but he's growing each week and he's starting to believe his own abilities. And he's going to be a star for us going forward. It's going to be exciting for our fans to watch. Mm. And Jack, your own role in, in 2021, it's been down back uh, basically exclusively for the entirety of the season to this point. Is that it for you for the remainder of your career now? This is where we find you? Or is it just as the, the club resets and it comes out of 2021, you may go back into the middle? 
Oh, I've been a big demo um, of playing where the, the coach wants me to play. Um, and down this, so this year it's been down back and a bit of a role change for me and something I've really enjoyed, to be honest, um, in, a, in a bit of a year that, you know, especially the first half of the year, we've been under siege a little bit down there. So I feel like I, as a captain of the footy club, but can have more impact behind the footy, helping us set up, um, getting our, you know, shape sorted and, and being able to provide a bit more of a sturdy defence. Um, within that, though, I've learned a hell of a lot in my role. Um, each week I'm learning new lessons and uh, playing on different opponents that have got different tricks. So um, it's been an awesome uh, year for me personally to be able to develop a new set of skills. But I think that I've been able to add a little bit um, uh, bit more to the team with my leadership as well from behind the footy, which has been great. I guess one of the positives of being at home is your new baby, you're a new father to young people. We've got a photo. How's that going for you at the moment? No, oh, it's awesome, mate. I've uh, never wanted to come home as much as um, after Pip's arrived. Um, Mum and Bub, Shan and, and Pip, and obviously our, our pooch Flash is very excited to have her home. Um, they're all going really well, and um, I must be uh, pretty clear that I don't do a lot of heavy lifting at night, mm. seeing though it's footy season, so Shan uh, looks after me quite a bit there, but um, the time we get to spend together um, has been awesome, and uh, becoming a dad has been one of the best things that's happened to me in my life. So you didn't do that washing behind you there on the clothes horse? <laughs> well, I got told before from a partner to make sure that that didn't get in the shots. So uh, we got this out here. <laughs> I tell you what, speaking of apparel, that top's got to be one of the best in the AFL, doesn't it's it? nice, isn't it? That's a good top. Yeah. Are you, are you looking for a freebie? No, because you know those shirts he was plugging last week yeah. that I said were awful? Uh, who are they? Nazario and Sons. Yeah, well, actually, I bumped into one of the family members last night. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm getting some. Um, so, anyway. It would some... have been a good story when uh, we didn't have Jack Siebel. But let's, oh, get, sorry, into boats, uh, <laughs> let's get into the votes. Let's get into the votes. I thought Jai Seekham was really good again. Took Miller, got another 30. Davies Uniac, we've spoken about him. And Cameron Zerha. And, Jack, before we let you go, who has been the toughest opponent? You're saying it's a new role for you and you're playing some tough opponents. Who has been the trickiest one for you this season? Well, there's probably a couple um, Lloydos. There's a couple of tall boys I've had to play on earlier in the year. Um, I mean, Josh Bruce kicked 10 goals against us in, uh, in round three, I think it was, and we got him again this week. So um, he was probably up there. Um, and also a couple of the, the quicker types um, in the small forward area um, generally challenge us older fellas. So uh, the tall boys and the small boys, it's a good mix. It's, it's, oh. a, it's been a good uh, learning year, so it's been fun. Good on you, Jack. Good to see you. That uh, dog you mentioned, Flash, is that the one that we put the... Uh the uh, APB out on a couple of years back, the one your dad lost? Yes, that was, uh, what was that, three and a half years ago? Was it? I still have to thank you for that, mate. You helped <laughs> get him home. So he's, uh, <laughs> he's happy as Larry back with us. But yeah, we lost him for a good three or four months, I think. Yeah. So it was a pretty yeah. good story. Yeah, I hope I didn't put your dad in there. But anyway, apologies about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. He's, uh, he's happy now he's back. All right, terrific. Good to see you, Jack, and uh, and uh, all the best with young Pippa. Pippa Zebel, what a great name. Mm. All right, Jack Zebel joining us there, the captain Thanks, of the North Melbourne Footy Club.